Hello everybody, my name is Ehotogren, and today we're going to be talking about gaming, gaming news! That's right, it's the vlog! Let's get started! So today we're going to be talking about the Force Unleashed versus <laughs> the new expansion for the Old Republic. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that these games look like they're going to be bad, but more along the lines of comparing the two is comparing the art styles of the trailers. Now while The Force Unleashed was an amazing game and had a definite form and style all its own, this is definitely taking with that style. The artistic workings and the actual feel of it definitely make it feel like it should have been a spiritual successor to the Force Unleashed. But Knights of a Fallen Empire, as you will know, is an MMO expansion. And yeah, while the MMO expansions can be incredible and the storylines in them are incredible, I feel like this would be in a much better standalone storyline than anything else. The idea of two Force using princes from an empire that is hidden away in the galaxy really does capture the imagination in the same way a secret Sith apprentice during the Rise of the Rebellion captured with the Force Unleashed. Now, the art style and the character design definitely leans to this idea that they should have been a spiritual successor, but I don't believe that there was anything intentional with that. I think that's just LucasArts' design choices. It definitely has the feel of a Star Wars game, and I will say this, I wish I was more into the MMO. I would be more interested in playing it and more interested in actually giving this game more of a try than just a simple glance that I am. But the more glances I take, the more second looks I just can't stop looking at this and think to myself, this was either a wasted opportunity or it's going to expand this MMO into the sort of thing that would be able to challenge WoW. Yeah, I just said it. The Star Wars MMO could very well challenge WoW for MMO supremacy. And I think that's because this game has that heritage, at least to some degree as an artistic style. Now, this game definitely isn't going to be anything like The Force Unleashed, at least not in the sense that it's going to be exactly like a gameplay and what such, but with the depth of the Star Wars universe and actual depth that the MMO has taken, I believe it has the potential of being just like the other game. But I don't believe it's going to take it in the same direction. It's going to keep with the MMO style, but it's going to add on a huge depth with an original storyline. Now, I'm not saying the MMO doesn't have original storylines. It actually does, from my understanding, but they're all entangled within the extended universe of the Star Wars canon, which, for anybody who's actually ever tried to read the Star Wars canon, is fucking impossible. But this adds on to an interest that most people don't actually know. The Force Unleashed is an original storyline within the Star Wars universe, but it's well recognized by gaming fans already. And that's why I believe it's going to be important to see this as the game it should be. And another thing, this definitely feels like the kind of game I would play, but I'm not going to because of the MMO platform. Lucasfilms, I'll say this, take this idea and turn it into an actual game. Look way past into the Star Wars history and pick a time period and just give us free reign, TFU style. Don't worry about your MMO, because guess what? It's better if you stick to what was really successful with the original Force Unleashed. Now then, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to show you guys the original Force Unleashed trailer. No Style. This was a game that when the trailer dropped, everybody was going nuts. It was an original Star Wars idea, a Star Wars video game that was, in and of itself, its own canon. It didn't have to rely heavily on the movies, really, and it didn't have to rely heavily on books. It was, in and of itself, its own thing. Plus, it was also short, sweet, and to the point. All in all, I actually really want to see what LucasArts can do. Like I said, within the hands of Disney, they have a lot more money and a lot more interest in keeping their IPs alive. So keep... All in all, I actually really want to see what LucasArts can do. Like I said, within the hands of Disney, they have a lot more money and a lot more interest in keeping their IPs alive. So keep this one alive, Disney. I'm sorry, but 
I have to say there's a lot more you can do with the Force Unleashed than you would ever imagine. So there you guys have it. Good, bad, or indifferent, we're going to be seeing something that is going to be completely different within the MMO itself. But I do have to say, I want to see LucasArts doing something within the inheritance that is, quote-unquote, the Star Wars universe's The Force Unleashed. The feeling of that game was so incredible when it first came out, and can be replicated pretty easily by allowing the art style to shine through. Not just the art style, but also the intricacies within the storyline. You guys have built a very creative, very interesting storyline once. And I know you can do it again because the Star Wars universe is, and I quote, infinite in its ideas. It's an IP that has no limits. That being said, shut up phone, I'm not cutting that out, you can create an amazing game there. I'm not saying that you have to, I'm saying you can. And that is, and Disney, you're going to love this, going to give you a lot of money. Because original Star Wars has a very deep, very intricate, and very, very rich group of nerds that are going to buy it. Especially if it looks as good and as fun as the original Force Unleashed was. Well, that's it for you for today, you guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a like. If you guys want to subscribe and see more stuff, go ahead. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya! Yes, I am not normal. I need I need tons of coffee and I need Yeah, seriously, my character looks like a man. <laughs> Seriously, my character looks like a meth addict. Alright then. Alright then.